The family was unwilling to accept that as a cause of death, so they went out and hired a world-renowned forensic pathologist named Dr. Wecht to come in and analyze all of the evidence and try to see if there's anything that was missed. And what Dr. Wecht finds is on Dakota's neck, there were ligature marks as if rope or some sort of twine had been wrapped around his neck, which was later disputed by the other medical examiner who said that was dried blood. But Dr. Wecht swears there was ligature marks on his neck. Dr. Wecht also concluded that there was absolutely no way based on decomposition levels that Dakota was in the water for more than a couple of days. And he believed that he was dead or unconscious when he actually went into the water, which is why there was no water in his lungs. So it begs the question, if we believe Dr. Wecht, where was Dakota from the day he went missing until 37 days later when he apparently went into the water? And again, why are we calling this an accidental drowning when he didn't drown?